Thank you very much for the, uh, the talk. I found it very interesting. Could you say uh, something about the English image of Scotland prior to Scots writing? Yes. Uh, <laughs> someone down here said Dr. Johnson. Uh, yeah, and there is um, famously Samuel Johnson's journey to the Western Islands where um, he talks about the dirtiness of accommodations and the poverty. Um, but he also talks uh, about hospitality and kind of the uh, amazing um, learning of some of the people he meets in very remote locations. Uh, and he's impressed by antiquity and by ruins. So all of those were part of the more um, positive image of Scotland. But I think that um, popularly, uh, it was, um, Scots were a source of mockery often in um, propaganda, like the cartoon from, by James Gilray that I showed earlier. Um, I like to think that that was those feelings that Scots were uncouth um, and uncivilized were not held by many English people in everyday life, because of course there was a lot of um, coming and going between the two countries historically. But uh, you know, the, the things that have survived over time suggest that the English view of Scots before Scott wrote his novels was not terribly complimentary. <laughs>